This is a download from the BBC. For more information and our terms of use, go to bbcworldservice.com slash podcasts. Hello, I'm Alice. And I'm Stephen. And this is 6 Minute English. This week, we're talking about rivalries between football teams. Football rivalries. Supporters of one football team often have one or two other teams that they really dislike. A bit of friendly rivalry probably doesn't hurt anybody, but sometimes football rivalries spill over into violence. Spill over into violence, when rivalry between fans leads to fighting. First, a question for you, Stephen. Can you tell me which city these two football teams come from? Al Ahli and Zamalek? Is it Cairo, Beirut, or Damascus? Well, my youngest brother would probably know the answer. I'm going to guess Cairo. Well, I won't tell you the answer just yet. We'll find out at the end of the programme. Now let's talk a bit more about football rivalries. Here's a word that gets used in British English. Can you explain what a derby is? Sure. A derby in the context of football is a match played between two football teams from the same city or near each other. It's thought the word comes from a rugby-like game played by two teams in a town in Derbyshire, in central England. In Britain, famous derbies are games played between Arsenal and Tottenham Hotspur, which are both in North London, Liverpool and Everton, or Celtic and Rangers, two football teams in Glasgow in Scotland. They have a bitter rivalry, and matches between the two often involve heated exchanges. Heated exchanges. Lots of passion and anger. Here's BBC sports reporter Alex Capstick reporting on a recent match between Celtic and Rangers, which turned into mayhem. Chaos. Matches between the Glasgow neighbours, Rangers and Celtic usually involve heated exchanges, but the mayhem during the latest clash has been described as an embarrassment to Scottish football. Rangers had three players sent off. Celtic's manager, Neil Lennon, and Rangers' assistant coach, Ali McCoist, had to be dragged apart following an ugly confrontation after the final whistle. BBC sports reporter Alex Capstick, who says that players were sent off and that managers and coaches got involved in an ugly confrontation after the final whistle. An ugly confrontation after the final whistle. Angry fighting after the match had ended. The First Minister of Scotland, Alex Salmond, is setting up a summit to deal with the violence. He says the players are role models for society. Supporters will follow their example. The fans at football matches are representatives of their clubs. The players at football matches are role models for society. And the management of football clubs have a particular responsibility and they must, absolutely must, behave responsibly. The First Minister of Scotland, Alex Salmond, says the football clubs have a particular responsibility and they absolutely must behave responsibly. They must set a good example to fans watching the matches. Policemen in Scotland say that even cases of domestic violence increase when the two Glaswegian clubs play each other. People watching the match at home are more likely to become violent towards their families during or after the matches. Les Gray from the Scottish Police Federation says attention needs to be given to future fixtures, the times when games are played. For example, there's less violence if games are played midweek, in the evening rather than at the weekend. He says changing licensing laws, the sale of alcohol, might help prevent people becoming violent. If that game hadn't been on a Wednesday night, we'd have seen a lot more trouble had that been a Sunday lunchtime game or even a Saturday afternoon game. So we'll be looking at when to play these games. We need to look at the licensing laws. We need to look at the coverage of the games. And by that, I'm, I'm, I'm going to upset a lot of people and say, perhaps we need to stop televising one or two of them. There's a direct correlation between what happens during the game and what happens after the game. If I tell you uh, the latest figures just in, I was informed last night, that domestic violence incidents jumped 70% on Wednesday evening after the game. That's a huge jump. Les Gray from the Scottish Police Federation, who says that incidents of domestic violence jumped by 70% after the last Celtic versus Rangers match. 
He said there's a direct correlation between what happens during the game and what happens afterwards. A direct correlation, a clear link or relationship. And he even proposes a very unpopular idea: to stop televising some of the games. Well, before we go, Stephen, any ideas about the city the two teams Al Ahly and Zamalek come from? Well, I guessed Cairo, and you're correct. Well done. So, a chance to hear some of the words and phrases we heard in the program today. Would you mind, Stephen? Rivalries, spill over, derby, heated exchanges, mayhem, ugly confrontation, role models, domestic violence, licensing laws. Thanks for that, Stephen. You're welcome. Well, that's all we have time for today. We'll have more six-minute English next time. Bye, Bye for now. That was six-minute English from BBC Learning English dot com.